I don't know about you guys, but every once in a while, I'm just craving that nostalgia. And so I've scavenged the internet looking for a loading screen to Dragon's Ridge. And this is from eight years ago with the classic background music, the classic loading music, the classic fade. But alas, it is merely tricks and deception. We are modern. Very, very modern. We're in the 113 here on Dragon's Ridge. Oh my goodness. Here it is. Come on. There it is. The Heavenly Drop. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's just, that brings back so much. I love it. This game used to be good, guys. In fact, as I was scavenging the internet, because we have a replay on Serene Coast as well, I found a replay with the Motherland from seven years ago. Seven years ago the Motherland came out. This game has been around for almost ten. The Motherland doesn't feel that long ago. And in my humblest opinion, that was when the game was at its prime. And the game was still pretty good when they introduced War Stories. War Stories were great. S adding the CDC, the Hammer, the Fatherland, all that stuff. That was pr that was prime tanking. That was seven years ago. 4.12, update 4.12 was the pitfall. In my humblest opinion of World of Tanks, that was when everything went to crap. They introduced a couple new features and 17 million new bugs. We had video after video after video on 4.12 with how bad it was. It was hilarious. And the amount of other content creators talking about how bad it was, all the bugs, the ghost shells. But alas, here we are. Fighting a Type 5 Heavy. Let's uh, put a shell into his ammo rack there. We broke his gun earlier, so he's already used his repair kit, which means... Kabush! 1904. Mm, mm, mm. 2800 damage in three penetrations. You love to see it. And this is going to be a very quick game, and so is the next one. That's why I have two replays for you guys. But this game is action packed. Uh, we just finished killing a Type 5, but now we're moving on to Thing 1 and Thing 2 here. Uh, some kind of M48A2 122mm guy. Bounce a shell, take a shell, bounce off his cupola. Looks like we hit his roof there instead. And uh, he's unfortunately shooting down on us, so our armor is not going to work. This is going to be a difficult situation to get out of, especially since this guy's going to take two more shots. If we put one into him, we get penned twice. We're now potentially a one shot. We get rammed, finish off the M8. He bounces off of us, then we angle our armor, and this CC bounces off of us, and he does not have a fully rotatable turret. In fact, that's the extent, what you see now, is the extent of where he can get his gun. And uh, right here we were debating tracking him, I changed my mind and decided, you know what, I see some cover here, so we're actually going to shoot him once, maybe even twice, and then hide from him here. And we do just that, and he is a two shot for us. He can't get his gun down, already hits him. And that is very, very helpful. Where can I pen him with this heat? I don't exactly know. I'm not familiar with that tank yet. I don't exactly know his weak spots. We have 340 millimeters of heat pen, so like maybe that thing is a weak spot. That thing that we just shot out there isn't even a hitbox. So don't be fooled like I was going for it. Already misses him there. Now we're down to AP. Should still be more than enough to go through his lower plate. Oh, we were too slow on the draw. He crested the ridge backwards and presented his underbelly. And we did not take advantage. Very, very sad. We're up to 5,322 damage, by the way. 1,200 damage block. There he is. Already fired again and missed. Come on, Arnie. I need to hit some of these shots here. We have 7 degrees of gun depression over the side. Only 5 over the front. Hence why you see me turning sideways a lot when trying to crest these ridges. Because I just can't get my gun down like this. But once I turn sideways, suddenly I can. But he seems like he might be trying to shoot us. Now he is... A one shot for us. We're going to switch to HE because I figured maybe I can splash him to death. Maybe I can just hit him right in that roof so that I'm semi-safe. 
We do. We go for the roof shot. Oh, we leave him on three hit points, but he misses. I think he's got seven or six seconds between each shot, so we are going to beat him on the reload. Put a shell in his lower plate. HE finishes him off. All we needed was three more damage, unless we hit him in the, the thickest part of his armor, and even then we would probably still splash him for three HP. He goes down. That was quite an interesting engagement, because never once throughout that battle did we have any other tanks with us. The enemy, it was just the three of them, and me, already started shooting. Otherwise, we were lonely. With our speed, we're able to get here rather quickly. 470... Sorry, 457 damage into the back of the E3. He's trying to get away. He takes another shell before we finish him off. We're up to four kills. All that's left is artillery. 5,900 damage. Can we find this piggy? We're reloading the HE shells, and that's going to come in key here. Come in clutch. And watch this. This is pretty crazy stuff. We're almost. Where is he? Bing, there he is on our left. He's. We've got his side. We put an easy side shot into him. 582 damage. Watch this. Vonk snaps me, turns and fires, hits us in the engine deck. We are lucky he did not kill us. And we finish him off with that shell. Holy moly. 6,955 damage on the skin of our teeth. And amazing music. And I even added a little bonus uh, loading screen here. Boop. Because I felt like it. 6,955 damage done, 1,200 damage block, ace tanker, high caliber, demolition expert, 1659 base experience points in the Chinese, 113, or 113, or 113, or uno, uno, tres! Come and cancel me. Game two time. I could not, for the life of me, find a map loading screen. So we're just gonna go with the music instead. T44100 here on Serene Coast. And more music in the background. Listen to it, listen. Oh. It just speaks of a better time. Those of you who haven't been playing this game long, Maybe four years, five years. That's not a long time, all things considered, where the game is at now. Um, believe me, if you heard this music, you knew the game was better. So, clone, why do you still play? Because some of us still have hope, okay? Some of us still have hope, and some of us make YouTube content, which uh, makes money. So, oh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> yes, I did. At least I'm honest. Music is over, it's done. I'm sad now. Who cares about watching the rest of this replay? I do. Hello, Stritzfong. This is another very fast game, and we pull off a feat that I was not expecting, per se, but watch my aim. Ready? Boop. Okay, the shell did pull very far to the right, but I could have probably afforded to aim a little further to the left. And then that shell doesn't even reach him. It kind of dies. And now we have this rip rod. Hello. And we miss him as well. Oh, clone. Off to a bad start. I thought you said this is going to be a good game. I did, but sometimes I lie. No, I'm just kidding. It's, it's going to be a good game. T44-100. I surprisingly really, really, really like this tank. It, uh... The Motherland used to be amazing, but now every gun can pen it. The Motherland's greatest counter was the CDC, as far as other mediums went. The CDC with its 212 penetration, which was absolutely crazy, other than the cent British Centurion, um, it could deal with it. Nothing else really could. Now everything has more pen. Even the Pershing now has 221 pen. The Motherland just cries. The T-54 Mod 1 cries because it no longer has armor to really deal with anything. So, I would rather play this more nimble vehicle than the Motherland at this point in the game. And, uh, hello there. Besides, 90mm of armor is still fairly decent, as you're going to see here. This guy fails to pen us with every shot into our front. He bounces us twice. And it's only when we give him our side here that he is able to shoot us. We're down to 742 health, but we are up to 3 kills and 1600 damage. And hello, piggy. Snap. Break his engine. Damage his tracks. He pulls away. But, hello, Mr. Light Tank. We missed. Okay, that's okay. We'll finish him off here, and then we'll worry about the Comet in a second. There we go. Dead. Come at me, Comet. Artie's aiming as well. 
Here comes the Comet, and he is shooting H-E with that gun, a 76, I believe, or 77, I think is the caliber. He's not going to do anything to us with his H-E, and uh, that is proven as he fails to do any damage to us over and over again. Hello, Mr. Tank Destroyer. He bounces off of us as well, already hits us. We reload, finish off the light tank. Now it's the Comet, who I do not fear, still shooting H-E. And it's only now he finally switches to AP shells, but he misses us. Put another shell. There's a dragon. Dragon misses us. Bounces off of us. The comet does. Dragon fired. He rams us. He's a two shot for us. We will beat his reload. Hence why I didn't shoot him initially, because why not? Now we're going to kill him here. Switch our attention back to the comet. He bounces off again. We're up to 30, 1360 block damage. We're going to ram him. And not enough to kill him. Leave him on two hit points. Finish him off. We're up to seven kills. 3,900 damage. Already on our left. Three tanks left. Potential pools metal. No, no more pools metal. Put a shell into the artillery. Now we want the M6 because we want damage. We had no idea we had seven kills. I still had no idea. Shell goes in. Finishes off the Hummel. Eight kills. And beautiful music. To accompany the victory. We got our winged person and the good old-fashioned Sherman loading screen. Eight kills, 4,039 damage done, 1,100 assisted, 1,600 damage block. Steel wall, Radley Walters, top gun, ace tanker, high caliber. Not a shabby game for a T44-100, a tank that's not known for having the greatest of armor. Yet in matchmaking where you are fighting minus two, it suffices. 2,094 base experience points. I will take that every day of the week. But that is it. I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, slap that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you go check out Space Bandit. He still posts from time to time. Link in the description below. And I'll be seeing you guys all later. Let me know what you miss the most about this game in the comments below. And I'll be seeing you guys all later. Take care, everyone. And peace out.